who were some of your inspirations growing up? Uh, well, um, Robin Williams, mm. uh, Eddie Murphy. Yeah. And see, <laughs> it's funny. A, a lot of a lot of people uh, a lot of people don't know that Eddie Murphy once was a comedian. You know, <laughs> seriously. No, it, it's crazy to say that. But if if you if you talk to somebody under 25 and you say Eddie Murphy, oh, the guy from Shrek, that is or the true. guy from these movies, they don't realize that the man was a, a, a comedian back in the day. And so between him and Robin Williams, that picture, by the way, uh, interesting story. I, I was doing a show at the Comedy Magic Club in Hermosa Beach, and it's a, a show that I did once a month. And so the manager calls me up and he says, hey, listen, I have a comedian who wants to do a guest spot on your show. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool, no problem. And he goes, but the comedian wants to go on after you. Mm. And I'm like, okay, mm. that doesn't, you know, you know you're an yes. entertainer, you know what's up. If right. your name's on the marquee, Nobody goes You're on after headliner. you. You're the headliner. You are the headliner. You're the headliner. No one goes on after <laughs> you. So I said, well, who is this comedian? Who is this person? And they said, well, they asked me not to say. I said, well, Richard, it's my show. Right. Just tell me. I'm not, you know, he goes, all you have to know is that if you ever have a secret, now you know I can keep it. <laughs> and I'm like, what kind of five-year-old mess is that? You know what I mean? I go, just tell me who it is. He goes, don't worry. It's, it's going to be a big deal. So I'm like, all right. So the show happens. I say yes, because I need to know who this comedian is. I'm on stage, and they hand me a note during the middle of my set. In the Please middle bring, of your set? Please bring him up. And so I tell the crowd, hey, you guys, we got a special guest, and I need to get off the stage. And they're like, no, no, because they had paid to see my show. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I get it normally. But um, <laughs> I said, when you find out who it is, you are going to forget about me. And everyone's like, no, keep going. I go, no, no, you don't understand. And so I said, ladies and gentlemen, I go, I, I can't even, you know, Robin Williams. Oh, my God. They did not believe me. They did not react. See how you got quiet right now? Yeah. Same thing happened over there. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah, yeah, they didn't believe it. And then I turn around and I look at the curtain and he's not standing there. And I'm like, oh, my God, they just pranked me. Right. <laughs> You know, and I didn't realize it, but Robin Williams was standing behind me. Right behind you? Yeah, I couldn't see him because he was behind me, and the audience couldn't see him because, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but anyway, he went on, and, and I watched uh, one of my comedy heroes perform like 10 feet yes. away from me, because I just watched from behind the stage, and when he got off stage, that's when I greeted him, and I said, hey, you know, thank you so much for what you did. I'm, yeah. You know, you're one of the main reasons why I do this. And we took that photo, and that's the uh, one and only time I got to meet him. Oh, Talk my God. Him. And I, of course, you'll never forget it, right? Yeah. That is amazing. You made history by selling out the Dodger Stadium. Congrats. That is... I got to get this straight. So you get nervous to do karaoke, but you ain't nervous to perform in front of all of these people. Uh, no, not because it's, it's what I do. I, right. I'm, a, I'm a comedian. I, I get up on stage. You know, uh, what makes me nervous is doing things that are not my norm. Uh -huh. You know, so something that's not like singing totally would be like, oh, yeah. you know, it's different if I'm just singing a quick little Coco song, you know, remember me, you know, <laughs> and then that's it. Like I can fake it for a couple seconds and then I go back to like, yeah, no, I was just, I was just messing around. <laughs> you know? It went well. We were there two nights. And uh, I was super, super happy with the way it turned out. And, and it's probably, Congratulations. Yeah. That is amazing. You get any advice from anyone? Uh, there's not many people you can approach to get advice about performing in a stadium. You know, unless I right. call Elton John. Can you talk to me, Elton? You know, like, yeah. I must say, just be, you know, be ready. You know, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. So the only other comics that I knew that had done it were, uh, one was Larry the Cable Guy. He did, a, uh, he did a comedy special a few years ago at a football stadium, and Kevin Hart. Mm. And so I spoke to Kevin, and I was like, Kevin, man, and, and big props to Kevin, because Kevin Hart was the main reason why I decided to go for it, because I says, you know what? I was there when he taped his special, oh. second row. And just so you know, sitting in the second row at a stadium is still like, you know, being here, and then Kevin's like way over there where the <laughs> sign's at. That's, yeah. it's so big. And so I talked to him and he goes, dude, it's important for you to have two nights. Make sure you have two chances so that you can get the timing right. That was the best advice and I needed that because that first show wasn't as good as the second one. <laughs> you know? But uh, a big thank you to Kevin for, yeah. for being, uh, being a friend and for, for the inspiration because uh, you know, because of him, I, I, I felt like, all right, if Kevin could do it, I can do it. You did it and, too. Um, you know. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.